antigen surge of love are stripped naked and brought together under extremely cold circumstances. I'm Tony Maloney, and this is looking for love in extremely cold places while naked. Last week we met Max and Amanda, the two headed off instantly as they leaped into each other's arms the second their eyes met. Was it love at first sight or simply desperation for warmth? Let's find out in our post-date wrap up. Well, I'm no love doctor, but it looks like we made a red hot love connection. And I'm no medical doctor, but it looks like they're both frozen to death. Unfortunately, not in a common outcome for our contestants, but look at the loving embrace their corpses were locked in at the time of death. Was it true love or just rigor mortis? Only their hearts now. Coming up, you'll meet Frank, a bartending bachelor who describes himself as the life of the party and says he can convince any woman to sleep with him simply by overpowering them physically. And you'll meet Suzanne, a substitute kindergarten teacher who describes herself as having a good personality and who is uh, currently seizuring uncontrollably due to hypothermia. Let's see if opposites really do attract when we come back. God, I would kill to be frozen to death right now. It's like a sweatshop in here. Whew. You can say that again. I think the heat has permanently welded my balls to my thigh. What thigh? Hey, I got one. Don't presume to know what's under this peel. The peel conceals all. My nether regions are a modern day mystery that no one wants to solve. Zing! I'm gonna get some butter. You need any? Uh, no. I'm good. Oh yeah. Let's grease these butter balls up. Oh, whoa, whoa uh, what are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing? Uh, it looks like you're spreading butter on your testicles. Yeah, so why'd you ask? I think my stomach just threw up inside itself. Hey, could we get a more realistically sized sensor bar, please? All right, all right, very funny, jackass. Just put it back. Rufus, like my mother always used to say, Sticky balls, stick of butter, rub it on, works like no other. <laughs> ah, that little ditty brings back so many memories of her, greasing me up before hitting the playground so the metal slide wouldn't snag my sack on hot summer days. Works like a charm every time. <laughs> and I do mean every time to imply I do this a lot. Is this why I keep finding pubic hair in the butter? <laughs> No, the butt has just been going through puberty. I think we better sit it down and have the talk before we open the fridge door and find it banging the margarine in buttery teenage lust. What the hell is wrong with you, man? Well, what do you do to keep your balls from sticking to your thigh? Uh, nothing. I just deal with it. I certainly don't dunk my nutsack in butter. Stop harping on the butter. You don't have to use butter. You can use cooking oil. Just uh, pour some into a bowl and submerge. Yeah. Chubbers, how many of my groceries have you been wasting on lubricating your balls? Rufus, relax. I always pour it back in the bottle when I'm done. Okay, I need to call poison control. Sticky balls, stick about a rubber down. We're Damn it, chummers.